Hi, this is a tutorial in the quick and dirty series. Oh, relax. Not that kind of dirty. Just, you know, quick and dirty. So let's start. First, let's create a polygon sphere, which is, by the way, the worst polygonal object you can create. Radius of 10, which means that it has a diameter or width of 20 centimeters. Just move it up a bit. And let's flatten the bottom down, or flatten the bottom up, eh, whatever you say. F8, or sorry, F9, and just select all the vertices from this area downward, as you can see here, and scale it down, uh, not too flat, this is what I would like to have, this is okay, so here we go like this. Okay. I call this my jellyfish head. All the biologists and, geo and uh, marine zoologists among you, I know this is not how a medusa or a jellyfish looks like, but still. And now let's delete history. That's Alt, Shift, and D. Okay? That's exactly as if you would go to Edit, Delete by Type, and History. See? Alt, Shift, D. Simply quick. And now I want to grow the tentacles from um, this ring here, okay? But I see that it's a bit too flat, so you know it's not square, it's a rectangle, but I would like it uh, to be squarish. So press F10 and double click one of the edges. When I double click an edge with F10, you see that it picks up the whole uh, edge ring and the uh, edge ring is here so let's scale it down but what I need to check and I always check this is to see that I didn't take anything else okay into um, into the selection this is okay so I'll just scale this down until I get something squarish here just a bit more Okay, um, I think this is good enough, and also I would like uh, this ring here to take part in the extrusions of tentacles. I think this is square enough. Okay, but before I do anything else, because I've modified this, you see that I have this um, angle here. So what I'll do You just go and simply eyeball it. W and something like this. I think. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's okay. Okay. Now what I'll do is just pick the faces. Okay. So press F11. And now let's pick a face and shift and double click an adjacent face and here's my whoops and here's my ring and again shift click shift double click um, okay so now what I, need, what I need to do is edit mesh and extrude just a bit to the outside just a bit I'm just preparing actually the base or the bases and what I need to do is deny this skip faces together option because I need it to be exactly I need it to be separate and what I do now is I click the um, scale box so I can get this scale box in the middle and now I just scale it down a bit I think this is enough and that's it Q so I don't make any mistakes and F8 to go out of this situation and because when I press 3 I think this is the base I would like then I would delete history again again with Alt, Shift and D okay that's nice and now let's go to the tentacles themselves I'll go to side view and now create curve tools, CD curve tool, and uh, somewhere here I think, yep, one, two, 
three and four and no something, even five. And I press three to get it smooth, enter to say, okay, that's enough. And it's a bit too short uh, for my taste, so let's stretch it out a bit. What uh, else I would do, I would um, just return the jellyfish head and press 1 to return it to its, uh, you know, its actual topology and not the uh, smoother topology, which is just an approximation. Uh, but on, on uh, how uh, real is the smoother topology, uh, we'll just uh, discuss in another tutorial. Not so quick and not so dirty, by the way. Uh, so here, we just keep it simple. And here's what I want here. Um, move those vertices a bit. I'll oh, see these uh, control vertices. That's uh, nice. And I think this is nicer. I can also I can always change it by the way because of Maya's uh, history. And now um, I need another one. Create curve tool, uh, CV curve tool, and this is the inner, uh, the inner ring. And uh, I think I should start somewhere like here. One, two, uh, three, and four. Again, enter. Press three for uh, for it to be smooth. And now I want to extrude these faces on these curves. But you see that the faces are actually in between the curves. Of course I can move these curves to align with these faces. But this is a quick and dirty tutorial, not a quick and stupid one. So what I can do instead is something, well, a bit less stupid. Which means, let's rotate the, the uh, jellyfish head. Now I know exactly how many um, sections I have here because uh, you know it was the poly the, or the original polysphere had 20, um, 20 sections. So um, every section occupies 300 and 360 degrees of a circle divided by 20, which is 18 degrees. But if I rotate this on Y 18 degrees, what I get actually is exactly the same thing for a very simple reason look here's 20 here's 36 36 ish and here's 54 and so on and so forth because 18 degrees is the exact amount of each of the sections so i need just half that which is of course nine degrees and now and the faces are aligned exactly with the tentacles, or the tentacles to be. Uh, whoever amongst you who didn't understand, who didn't understand the um, the mathematics, the high level mathematics involved, well, just look at this uh, movie once more. It's quite easy, really. Now let's extrude. The method is quite easy. I pick the curve. I shift click on the object and then I choose by and then I press right mouse button and choose face this cannot work with the F11 because if I press F11 then I go out of the selection of uh, of my curve okay so I have to come here and then choose face with the mouse button and shift select the face I want, which is this face. Now I press 4 just to check that I didn't uh, that I didn't uh, pick up anything else. Uh, I didn't, so edit mesh extrude. Now divisions. Let's pump it up a bit and I go to 25 and which is uh, quite enough for me. If it wasn't enough, I would go here to see the divisions section and um, just, you know, click a number here or even here. 
really doesn't matter. But I think it's uh, quite enough. I need this high resolution because, you know, with tentacles, they should be, they should be well, flexible and uh, stretchy and stuff. And uh, I think this is enough, so I press Q. But I need it also to be, you know, pointy, just a bit. So I have taper here, okay? So here's taper, and I press... Now, there are people who do this, which is, you know, pointy. Uh, nothing, almost nothing is that pointy, so usually, even if you want something pointy, 0 0.01 is better than 0, okay? Because you have, you know, you have something here. Let's press 3, so it is uh, rounded out. Now, for me, I think 0 0.2 is a bit a better option because I want it to taper out, not to be uh, a stinger. This is not uh, the point here. Oh, here's a stinger, which is nice. It's a curve, of course. It looks lovely, just like a uh, wasp's stinger. A, wasp, a wasp's sting. Um, so now let's do this again. I press 1. And um, pick this one. Oops, I'll press F. F8, so I'm out of the component selection. Pick the curve, shift and select the sphere, right mouse button, face, and then shift and select the face. Again, check that I didn't pick anything else. Whoa, see? Always go to check. And extrude. And again, divisions, uh, let's go to 25. Um, okay, 25 is, very, is actually very good here. So again, what I will do, just press Q, press 3, and let's see what I get when, you know, extrude the phase 2 is actually the new extrusion. Uh, taper it to 1.2. Uh, sorry, 0 0.2 is good enough. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Um, what I would like to do is uh, change some things in the outer tentacle. You see that the, the inner tentacle is actually very good. I mean, it's um, it's evenly divided, which makes easier skinning and stuff like that. Now, the outer one is not, and it's not not necessarily, you know, the, it's, it's, the, it's the poly extrude phase one. Now it's not necessarily because of the resolution of uh, of the extrude itself. Meaning, uh, even if I, I bump the divisions from 25 to 40, not 410, no, 40, then you know I have here quite a lot of uh, resolution, but here still not so much. It's not square faces. These are uh, quite elongated uh, rectangles. So, you know, not even 50, but does make the change, yeah, because I leave it at 50 for now, but does make the change is actually the curve inside here. So, let's see, here is the curve. Let's go to side view. Because it has, uh, Maya has here uh, the build history, which is, the, you know, it's an input, this curve is an input of the sphere, I can actually still come here and press um, F, F9 to get the CDs and not only change the shape and the curvature, but I can also change the division or the distribution of the divisions. Okay, it is important to remember that because Maya actually uses the spans of the nerves curve, okay? The spans of the nerves curve to uh, divide along them the extrusion faces. Now, this is quite what I wanted. This is the time to save the scene, okay? And also to delete history. I'll shift D. Okay, so now I have this um, 
double tentacle the thingy here. And of course, I want everything to be just as tentacled. Now, I know there are those who just uh, would, uh, you know, duplicate the curves and then uh, do the duplicate special uh, things and stuff like that. And then rotate. Uh, okay. I can do that. We can do that. But this is a quick and dirty tutorial. It's not a quick and stupid tutorial. So here's what we do. I don't need those tentacles anymore. So let's delete those. And what I will do now is decimate everything that I have here. And what I would do, what I will do is just, you know, basically delete almost everything. So F11 and the top half of the jellyfish goes. Also, these parts, everything except that middle slice that I have here with the tentacles. Now, the quicker ones amongst you probably understood exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, it's not rocket science. Instead of specially duplicating the tentacles or the curves and then uh, doing the extrude all over again, uh, 19 times 2, which is uh, 38 times again, I'll just go and take this slice. I know exactly how many times I should uh, duplicate it because, again, it was 20. Remember, the sphere, the sphere was 20 times or 20 sections. So I go to my Edit, Duplicate Special, and rotate on Y 18 degrees. 18 degrees because 360 of a circle divided by 20 is 18 degrees. We've discussed that earlier. And I need 19 copies since, well, I have one copy here. So Duplicate Special. And now I have, if you look at the Outliner, now I have 20 pieces, okay? 1, 2, 20. So, pick them all, go and combine them, mesh, combine. Of course, I need now to edit mesh and merge the vertices. Now, I use this number, 0 0.0001, which is a thousandth, which is a thousandth of a millimeter. I think that's a micron, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, as long as I don't uh, try to build uh, microbes and viruses to scale inside Maya, then this is quite a good number. Anything above this uh, is, well, I just, I just might delete some fine detail if I have one, if I have some. Uh, but uh, this and even 0 0.001, which is the default in Maya 2016, is quite okay. Merge, and of course delete history, I'll shift D, and you see that the outline is now cleaner. My best way to know if this is done right is just press 3. When I press 3, I see that I have no hard edges, no... Um, Duplication, bound, duplications, bounces, stuff like that. Everything is just smoothed out. I have details, you know, wherever I need, wherever I, wherever I put them. And let's go and smooth this out even a bit more. In, inside the attribute editor, we have the smooth mesh. And instead of two, let's go four. What happened to the channel box? Okay, don't ask me. Something strange. Uh, but you see that uh, this is nicer here. And that's it. Okay, you can quite easily imagine it uh, swimming towards you or, or following you, walking on its many, many legs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, what well, I did at least. So uh, until next time, bye bye now.